Hey guys, welcome back to the Fragrance Wardrobe. I'm Michael, and today we are doing a haul video right here. I got a package from Central Obsessions. I'm going to open it up, check out the fragrances, and I believe one of them will be a kind of a blind buy. The other ones I have smelled before. Also, I apologize for not putting any videos out like for a week or so. I did have a little like heart surgery procedure type of thing back last week, last Monday. So I've been kind of taking it easy a little bit, but I do feel better, feel good enough to start shooting videos again. But if I do start huffing and puffing and <laughs> like I'm out of shape and out of breath, that's why. All right, let's go ahead and crack open this package. I don't think I have to remind you guys to like the video and subscribe, which I just did remind you. Okay. All right, here's a box. And another box. All right, we're going to go for, let's go for the small one first. Here we go. All right, so open up the box like that. We have a couple bottles wrapped up here. These will be, I believe, 15 mil bottles. Nicely wrapped. Oh, nice. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I love these bottles. This is the first uh, bottle that I've owned from Central Obsessions. Uh, the I have, you know, reviewed some of the decants. If you haven't seen those, I have a Central Obsessions playlist. Click on it. All those decants that I reviewed and still more to come. But these are my first bottles and I do like the way these bottles look. Very nice. This one is blind. Never smelled it before. But after seeing Ross on TLTG talk about King of Kings, I had to try it out. And this one was actually sent so I can review it and stuff. The bigger bottles are going to be bottles that I purchased. Go and get a paddle out for King of Kings and give it a spray and my first impression. Man, that's good. That's very good. <sighs> yeah. So I believe King of Kings is the smoky style batch of Aventus. One of those early batches that... Uh, Creed put out and I'm getting the smokiness it smells extremely good right off the first spray you get that pop of fruitiness that uh, the pineapple and then the smoke begins to fade up into the uh, I guess the cloud or whatever it smells really good wow I like that like this one a lot wow this is really good and i've never smelled the smoky batch of aventus or anything like that but this is really really good i highly recommend getting a bottle of king of kings smells phenomenal next up is going to be one that i reviewed a decant on and just fell in love with this uh, fragrance it's going to be New York Blues. It's going to be Central Obsessions version of uh, Jazz Club from Mason Margiela. And this one, I can tell you, it just smells. I'm going to hit my wrist or hit my hand. Here's my hand. Oh, this is so good. I, I'm really big with like tobacco, booziness, that type of scent. So like this time of year is phenomenal for me because I get to wear all those. This smells fantastic. You have tobacco, you know, like a booziness. Oh man, that smells so good. It really, so this is their version of Jazz Club, but when I smell this, it does kind of put me like into this vibe or mindset of a jazz club like in New York. It smells really good. You get that tobacco, you get that booze. 
intoxicating. It's pretty intoxicating for me. It's just one of those types, styles of fragrances that I, I go nuts for. I just love it. Smells phenomenal. I do have a full review of New York Blues. I'll put a card up somewhere around here. You can watch that where I reviewed the decant. Here's the 15 mil bottle that will be getting some good wear before the weather starts warming up. And I'll review these also. Even if I reviewed the decant uh, version of it, I will review the full bottle presentation as well. So should be four here. Uh, that's four more reviews. That way you guys can see the, uh, the full presentation and all of that. Fancy. Oh man, <laughs> look at that. I like the little bag. That's fancy. Very nice. Ah, oh, first class. Come out here. Made with love from us to you enjoy. Right there. Looks great. All right. And here is my 50 mil of Aftermath. This one, I haven't reviewed the decant of, but I have a decant and I did wear it the other day. I actually wore Aftermath when I went in for my heart surgery. That was my scent for surgery was Aftermath. And I was smelling very good. Probably the best in the operating room area. So yeah, Aftermath is phenomenal. Aftermath is Kevin's version of uh, Side Effect and it smells so good. I'm going to hit my other hand. I love that. I love, love the scent of Aftermath. It smells so good. It, it's so good. I bought the 50 mil and because I'm going to wear a lot of this, this is phenomenal. Wow, I really enjoy that. Just Yeah, Whew. that's that's good. And you can see, I think on my hand there, the oils. It is All of these are going to be a 33% oil concentration, which is pretty good. That's pretty high. Most niche and designer, you're not going to get that high. But Kevin does put that extra touch. And all of his fragrances that I've worn have had just amazing performance. And I have no doubt that a lot of that is due to the 33% oil concentration as well as genuine high quality notes and ingredients that he's using. All right, next bag. Love the little gold bags on these, by the way. That's right. Midnight Sky. Beautiful. This one is a phenomenal fragrance as well. I haven't reviewed my decant of Midnight Sky yet. I did wear it, I guess, for the first time uh, maybe a week or two ago. Really enjoyed it. This is Central Obsessions version of, um, I believe, is it like Midnight in Heaven or something like that from Killian? I can't remember the name, but yeah, it's from Killian. <laughs> I know that. So really good. I love the scent as well. I'm going to hit my arm. Ooh, nice spray from this one. Oh, man. I can, oh, that was like a full spray. And just one full spray. And it just like engulfed the air around me. And it smells so good. That is classy. That's this one is like 100% high class all the way. Smells phenomenal. Haven't smelled the original that this is inspired from, but I don't know if I need to because this one is so freaking amazing. It is so good. Love that scent. So Sensual Obsessions does use all the same notes that Killian would use for, I want to say it's... I want to say it's like something in heaven, something heaven. I know that. It's kind of what I remember. We have New York Blues. So all the same notes that Mason Margella puts in Jazz Club, 
going to be in this fragrance. Same with all of these fragrances. Now, the amounts per note might be adjusted, which I like because it does, I think, turn out to be a little bit better of a fragrance because Kevin can increase what people like about a fragrance, maybe pull back on some of the stuff that people weren't like crazy about. And I think that's going to make a better fragrance than the original. All of these, I love, they're phenomenal. If you haven't tried Sensual Obsessions yet, do so. He does sell discovery kits and you can get like six decants. He has a ton of fragrances on there. Name one that you wanna try. He's probably got his version of it. And they are all high quality oils, high oil concentration. They perform extremely well. I get great projection and great longevity out of everything I've worn from him. And uh, the prices are really good. So for a 50 mil, you're talking 55, $60, something like that. So really good prices compared to what you would pay for like the original. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. I'm getting out of breath now. I'm going to go take a nap. Uh, please remember, if you saw anything in the video that you liked, give it a like. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications. Those things help out the video and help out the channel. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching.